Hello. Hey, uh, concerning the Sandra Bland thing, I, uh, I had set aside a CNN clip showing you what kind of a weasel the guy is. This is a fact. If a police officer stops you during a traffic stop and he asks you to step out of the vehicle, you must comply. It is a lawful order. Now, during this Sandra Bland situation, just because he asked you to put out the cigarette first and then asked you to step out of the vehicle, everybody's focused on, oh, he got upset about the cigarette. Maybe she could have thrown it in his face, which I'll show you a video from uh, Training Day, which is Hollywood, but hey, it's the same danger. Anyway, stepping out of your vehicle is a lawful order. You must comply. I don't know what their objective is feeding people bad information, but... If you fall for it, you're being duped. And if you decide to play Joe Constitutional Lawyer when a police officer pulls you over, it's probably not going to end well for you. Okay? Watch this guy with all the weasel words he says when he is asked a direct question by the newscaster. He's asked a direct question. Is it lawful for him to ask you to put out the cigarette and ask you to step out the car? They all focus on the cigarette. And he uses these weasel words. I had to write them down. He used so many. Check this out. I'm troubled. Who cares? It would seem to me that. It would seem. It didn't appear to me that. In my view. I don't know how. There's no statute pertaining to smoking. Which is probably true. But he doesn't say anything about the statute about being asked to step out of your car. And that's problematic. Yeah, I'm sure it's problematic trying to be that much of a fucking weasel. And he's a real dirtbag, and he's doing a lot of people disservice by emboldening them, only going to cause more problem, more conflict, more friction with the police. There are, according to the last statistics, 50 million plus traffic stops in the United States every year, and over 12 million arrests per year. The last time the statistics uh, have been tabulated, which is 2013, 12 million people arrested. Okay? You're seeing only the worst of the worst. And once again, I don't understand why the protests and everything are behind these people that are not innocent. The three big ones, the Trayvon Martin, the other guy, Gray, that died, which is a tragedy, but he's not innocent. Um, Michael Brown, again, innocent? No. No. No angel. Okay. Meanwhile, there are cases out there with truly innocent people being pulled over and treated badly by the police, and somehow those are not, you know, become the popular conscious, and everyone made aware and protests and riots. For some reason, they get behind these iffy cases. Anyway, listen to this guy, and I'll interject on the parts and clue you in on how much of a fucking weasel this guy is says that she's in her car and she and he has no right to tell her to put out her cigarette or get out of her car. Is that right? As a former prosecutor, I'm troubled by what the officer did and certainly as a defense attorney I am for a variety of reasons. The first of which, and I certainly get and understand that officer safety is paramount, Randy. You want to be safe and you want to maintain certainly the situation and control of it. But it would seem to It would seem to me, not in fact, to me that asking someone to get out of a car would escalate a matter and would further represent a danger to your safety than having them in that contained environment. Furthermore, it didn't appear to me didn't it didn't appear to me that while she said that she didn't want to put out a cigarette, it didn't appear to me that she was otherwise rude and disrespectful to him personally or represented a danger to him personally. And so he says it's a lawful order. And in my view in my view, a lawful order is blah, blah, blah. Fucking reason. Lawful order is one that has, you know, underlying lawful authority. And so if I'm smoking a cigarette in my car, I don't know how that necessarily gets an officer to tell me to stop. You know, I looked and I scanned the, the, the statutes of Texas, and there's no statute pertaining to smoking in front of a police officer. Correct. And so that's problematic to me. I yeah. mean, she was... Notice he said there's no statute about smoking in front of a police officer. Didn't mention anything about the statute that when a police officer asks you to step out of a vehicle during a traffic stop, that is a lawful order. It's gone all the way to the Supreme Court, 
if a police officer asks you to step out of your vehicle during the traffic start, you traffic stop, you must comply. Okay? Don't fall for this. Now, this is an exaggerated example from training day, how a cigarette can be used against someone. It's not what you know, it's what you can prove. Yeah. What can you prove, huh? Nothing. Where's your evidence, huh? It's right there. Mm. <laughs> So, folks, I don't know why the media is fomenting this. It's been going on for a while. It is in your best interest to comply with a police officer. The only people I can think of that are going to give a cop a hard time, okay, is someone who has something to hide or is doing something and is going to evade. You'll notice that other video where they showed that the cop shot the guy and he probably shouldn't have. The guy took off running. One officer got run over, okay? Again, you know, the police officer doesn't know who you are, okay? Comply. Just make everybody's day go better. If you've got nothing to hide, within a few minutes, this is who I am. Here's my paperwork. We'll be done. If you did an infraction, you're going to get a citation, okay? But, you know, what can I say? Drive better. You won't have that problem.